Hello, I'm Joe Crisatello. I am co-creator of Spectre Inspectors. And I'm Joseph Hello. Martin, the other co-creator. Thank you for joining us tonight. Inspector, You know what? Let's restart. <laughs> Hello, I'm Joe Crisatello. I'm co-director, co-creator, co-writer of Spectre Inspectors. Oh, and, and I'm Joseph Martin. I'm, Spectre Inspectors. I'm your host. Yes, he is my co-director, co-writer, and co-collaborator on Spectre Inspectors. What if we always say that we want to say... Uh, Joe paid for it and Joe made it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Joe paid for it and Joe taped it. That's it. We're going to do a little director's commentary on this movie. We're pretty fresh on it right now, so it's really tough to talk about the movie that we're, like, super fucking fresh on, but yes. we're going to do our best. And the first thing I'll say is that this whole section of the movie wasn't even planned. Like it, was, it wasn't even in the script. It was never in the script, and it was actually going to be uh, something we filmed separately as simply just like a teaser. We were going to film a whole new teaser. Oh yeah, that's right. It was going to be the. It was going to be the trailer. It was going to be the trailer yeah. for the movie, so we didn't give anything away. Yeah, and then because we just we, fell in love with it. Yeah, we did. If you if you know, we did Buddy Cop together. And if you do, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> and we did a whole trailer on it, and yeah. one of the first things we did uh, when we were ready to release it was do a trailer, yeah. and we decided not to do that this time. That's right. Yeah, we said this movie didn't feel like it deserved a trailer. Well, that didn't deserve one. Sorry, <laughs> delete that out. This movie didn't feel right to have a trailer. I agree. I agree. Now, I will say, one of the things I'm most proud of with this movie is the way this TV show intro Oh my ended God. up, dude. It's so good. You know that scene where I was jumping up into the window? Yeah. yeah Everybody yeah. I showed the movie to fucking busted out laughing at that. I think that's the greatest thing. Uh, this was also one of the first things we, well, not this particular clip, but the TV show intro. This was day two? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was. It was the second day of shooting. Yeah. That's what we, we like, this was shot in my apartment building. This scene right here was shot at an, an abandoned house by my parents' house where we filmed most of the movie. Yep. This was filmed at your apartment complex. This was filmed at the abandoned house again. And this, yeah. <laughs> just commentary on everything. This scene is very reminiscent on the scene in Ghostbusters. Huge when, uh, reference slash yeah. homage to that for sure. This, I think, is like the fucking creme de la creme of the movie, dude. This whole scene was reshot. We had a very, we had a whole different scene here, yeah. which was it was the same scene, but it was shot differently. And different house, different look. Everything was different yeah, about it. Yeah, it was it was very comical the way it was shot. And I think you had brought up the fact that we should like really make it scarier. That's right. Because uh, the original idea was to do it almost like a reenactment. He was yeah. going to be talking oh, about yeah, it, yeah, that's and, right. he, and he was going to be acting it out as a reenactment. So it wasn't going to be scary. Because at the bottom of it, it said this is a reenactment, right. dude. And then we figured we should actually show what really happened to Ralph. That makes him wind up calling the Spectre Inspector. So we try to do a more creepy version of yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Right. That's right. Now, Joe, you made this. Yeah. And like, from what I understand, you, this is like the most proud you've ever been on something. This is easily one of my favorite things. This was also, I think, one of the first things I did for the movie. I feel like after that weekend. Like post? Or yeah. Like while we were. Oh, you, we were still recording, but I feel like it was yeah. sometime after that first weekend, I started working on this. Um,. I went on websites and was going to pay people to do this because I didn't think I'd be able to do it. And over the course of like an afternoon, I finally cracked how to actually make this inside Final Cut. Which is insane because like even when you're zoomed in that far, it's still super high quality. Yeah. Which is crazy, dude. Yeah, I really didn't think I'd be able to do that. It's insane that it came out this well. Um, not to toot my horn, but it's definitely one of my favorite parts of the movie. I'm really proud of it. <laughs> <laughs> and I think one of the earliest concepts of this movie was doing the interviews. Like, that was one... Because the original idea was it was a documentary about ghost hunters. And the idea of interviews, it kind of got lost in the final. Because there's not as many interviews as we had written. Mm, yeah, or that yeah. we had planned. Yeah. But I think... Where they're used are very effective. So, <laughs> I love that little pause that you do over there. <laughs> when the interview starts? Yeah, you yeah. just sit there and stare <laughs> off into space, dude. And you know what's funny is like my like performance of Richard Alpert here is way different than how I act in the movie because that was the first, the absolute first thing we shot. Yeah, I know because I know for a long time we. I love that sign. 
I know for a long time we talked about maybe redoing our interviews because we didn't know our characters that well. Yeah. We wound up leaving them as they were, and I think they work out great. Potentially haunted I just a side note on that scene where the car pulls up that was actually reversed yes. Yes. I don't know why did oh because we had a hard time trying to line up the sign yeah. trying to yeah. stop the car at the exact right moment was difficult so we just started at the exact right moment and this just went is from there. this is an Eminem poster <laughs> <laughs> that is a, an Eminem poster I had in my childhood bedroom Look how fucking awkward Trevin is just standing there. <laughs> but that was the point of his character. Like, we had written that he was super awkward in front of the camera. And in the next scene, you're going to see him walk down the stairs and talk to the camera. And he's super awkward because he's on national television. And <laughs> it's just a, he's not an actor. He's not someone who's normal, like, like comfortable being in front of a camera. Real places, real people, and real weird. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm exactly. saying? This is a flashlight, you fuck. <laughs> You were not happy with this scene. This, I can't believe Wanta being in the movie. Um, I love the scene, but filming it was difficult because I know Trevin had somewhere to be. And it was a race. Oh, yeah, I forgot It was about a race that. against time to get that scene done. It was because he had to leave like five minutes earlier. He had to leave five minutes ago from when we started filming it. And I just felt this pressure to say this entire monologue correctly. And I had to redo it like five different times. Yeah. This is the first movie that we actually had lines to memorize. That's true. Because in Buddy Cop, we wrote a script, but like we didn't really... You had no speaking parts in it. I don't think I had any speaking parts besides the toilet fight scene and the actors that we had in the movie. Yeah. We just said like, all right, you guys pissed off, so just be pissed <laughs> off. And then the actor would be like, what the fuck you doing, man? Exactly. So like we, this is the, this script was very particular about the language it used because there's a lot of like techno garbage a lot of techno babble it was a real yeah. script that you had to memorize these lines and boy that was a lot of work sometimes yeah. to do not for me i wrote the fucking script yeah. so i know for me for me yeah. i was like what is this word a lot electromagnetic field readers convert <laughs> other forms of electricity dude this scene is the fucking greatest <laughs> like these fucking idiots are explaining <laughs> the scientific reason why yeah. wind atmosphere pressure changes yeah. in bedrooms and talk shit. about techno babble yeah. instead of just saying oh yeah the wind uh, pushes the door closed dude without my side atmosphere <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Push, that pushes the door open and close i legit had to research like weather patterns and shit to write that script yeah we kind of became experts on some stuff during the making of the script huh <laughs> also, especially you fucking <laughs> trevin has a separate wig <laughs> behind him and which was complete accident yes because this was my little sister's childhood home or childhood uh bedroom mm -hmm. and she had shaved her head like one year so she was wearing like all these wild wigs and one of them was just happened to hang there i don't i can't remember if we put it there i think we put it I there think we found it in the room yeah and it was out in the open already and we were like oh we should just stick this in the in the scene yeah also, we missed when I said, oh, Ralph, nice jacket. And then I'm wearing his jacket. So yes. I think we showed the movie to Trevin and Alex. Yeah. And they that just went over their heads. So if you're watching this now, that was the point of me saying, oh, Ralph, nice jacket. Because in the next scene, you see me, I'm wearing the jacket. Yes. We came up with that on the day of. Yeah. And you and I could not stop laughing at that idea. I'm so glad we got Esteban in the movie. Dude. Oh, man. Also, you can tell how fucking much longer my hair is because I fucking refuse to cut it. It was yeah. so long, dude. And I have got I've gotten a haircut since then. I don't know if Alex kept his like getting haircuts throughout the whole movie. I think so, yeah. I but his like, stayed consistent. Yeah, we. I feel like my hair grows a little bit. You can tell a little bit, but I kept getting the sides in the back cut. Dude, the fucking this you. Great. This is the funniest fucking thing in the movie, dude. <laughs> oh, you you came up with this, right? Did, did this wasn't in the script? <gasps> oh, yeah, you're right. Because yeah. originally it was you on a walkie-talkie saying cause I was already downstairs yeah. and I was talking to you on a walkie-talkie saying, "Hey, I did this thing," and we decided to reshoot it, actually yeah. showing me down there because of another scene that's in the basement that comes up later in like five minutes or so. Dude, you did a fucking phenomenal job with the music. 
Thank this you so shit much. is so Thank good. You. It fits the mood so well. I had a lot more time to work on the music than for. Do you remember with Buddy Cop? We only had like three songs that we had to use. I don't, dude, yeah. dude, I fucking showed one of my friends who's like really religious that. Yeah. Because I still have that Bible. It's in, in the room behind us. Yeah. And he, he was so offended that we did that. <laughs> Yo, and here's a fucking side note. If you rewind the movie, it's that's written on page 666. That's right. So extra sacrilegious. That's right. Oh, we just uh, right before Father Fernando comes out, um, Marta Treehorn looks to Richard and asks if he has the duck sauce. Oh yes, yes. This is a reference to our previous movie that we made, Buddy, Buddy Cop. Cop. Yeah, where we also ask about the duck sauce in a scene. Yes, we. And do you even like Chinese food? I do. I do. Really? Yeah. I don't. Don't answer that. You know what? Yeah. Father Fernando. Oh, it's fucked up. <laughs> Yo, and then, yo, this is the fucking greatest thing ever. <laughs> You're just so dead serious. This was Alex's idea, right? Yes. Yeah. Because this scene wasn't in the... in the. Um, no, we should have been an early cut of it. The script, because we needed scenes to fill in the major scenes, and that was one of the ideas that we came up with. And actually, we have a... We shot so many angles of the scene. Like, we shot one in front of Alex filming him hold the camera. So many. But the problem with that is you could see the lens cap was closed on the camera, and that's why we didn't end up using it. I, I got to say, my sandwich drop here is so natural. It's, it's it, yeah, so fucking yeah. natural. And you there's the first uh, appearance of the, the unnamed ghost. The unnamed ghost. I love the way Alex is a dude in that scene. Dude! Which is a reference to the Holy film God, Haggard what? by Bam Margera. Who says it in that movie? Oh, uh, Ryan Dunn. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Who died in a car accident, actually. Use a steak, man. I meant to go <laughs> rub his head, but he put his head down, so I ended up just rubbing his hat. <laughs> Sometimes it, it blows me away how fast I can just snap into like Richard Alpert. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, yeah. <laughs> that I, man is Ralph Langerman. I love that we blame all of this on the priest. Yeah, dude, it's like they take no fucking responsibility. They show up, poke the fucking bear with a sharp yeah. stick, yeah. and then blame it on the fucking stick. This is a real fucking ghost. You're like you're playing devil's advocate right here. Yeah. Like you're you're trying to sue Donnie and then you go over to me and you're like, think of the footage. There are so many so you know what just dawned on me we need to talk this about the references, our names. Oh that's all of these right. things in this movie. The so you yeah. want to talk about that? Yeah, I'll just I'll give it back to you in a little bit, but all the names there's all right, let me first off by saying there's a shit ton of references in this movie. Even the the names, like Richard Alpert is uh, Ram Dass's real name, yeah. and we're big fans of Ram Dass. Indeed. And do you want to go over Donnie Defino, your guys' name? Oh, man. So Defino was the name of one of the uh, the other detective in The Big Lebowski, yep. the one the one that he, he pulls over that's in that little Volkswagen. The bald guy. Yeah. The, yeah. yeah. Um, can't remember. Oh, Donnie. Shut yeah. the fuck up, Donnie. Yeah. So obvious. Yeah, Steve Buscemi's character. Yep. Uh, Marty Treehorn. Marty is... Uh, the dude's landlord in the Big Lebowski, and Treehorn is Jackie Treehorn, the porn director in the That's Big right. Lebowski. That's yeah. right. What were the other ones? Oh, Ralph Langerman is from my is from my favorite video game ever, Outlast Two. He's the main character in that video game. I don't think I don't oh, think you ever knew that. No, but Ralph Ralph is a, also a reference, a double reference to the grocery store that opens the Big Lebowski. Yeah, oh, that's the right. The dude Ralph's, goes to yeah. Ralph's grocery store. This is the best scene ever, dude. Dude, it's so good. It turned out so fucking good. You did so good. Yeah, Joe Thank did you, the, all the fucking graphics on that. Thank you. Uh, and he, I will say, you did not think it could be done. Uh, no. You fucking fought this. Oh, wait. Hang on. What? We need to talk about this. Okay. Alex just <laughs> fell into my wall, my basement wall, and left a huge fucking dent in my parents' basement. Video proof, Alex. And video proof. So to my mom and dad that are watching... He broke the wall. It wasn't me, dude. 
Do you remember we didn't know where this next scene was going to take place for a long time? Where, where did you originally... Oh, because I wanted to do it in the basement, and you were like, no, oh, man, yeah. let's do it in the garage. I'm like, why the fuck are we doing it in the garage? That's right, that's but right. But it works out because we say, obviously, the the activity is in the house, and we decide to go out in the garage <laughs> in, in a safe area to do a fucking garage seance. I also, I don't know what it is. I just love filming stuff in your garage. We filmed in your garage for Buddy Cop. We filmed in it for this movie. Yeah, when we did the toilet scenes in Buddy Cop. Yep. If you ever make the movie where you're the director who has that one actor yeah. who's always causing a lot of issues, we've always talked about wanting to film it in your garage. At least I have. Yeah, I keep no, pushing I to film that in your garage. Yeah, when, when you look at me is when I look away, and yeah. when you look away from me is when I look at you. <laughs> Dude, you, you like reversed this audio, right? Yeah, no yeah it's, it's, there's a reverse reverb on it. Reverse reverb, that's what it is. I love how I'm so much shorter than you guys in the chairs because I'm legit in a camping chair, oh, and you guys yeah. are in folding chairs. Oh, man. Is here with us Dude, I can't believe how good the ending that? is. I am... Blown away Dude, by the yeah. end. If I can say that, yeah, I know we shot a lot. Too. I, yeah, I know we made it, so it's like maybe a little weird to talk highly about it. Yeah, exactly. But dear God, I am so in love with how this ending turned out. You can see my camping chair a little bit. Yep. Oh, in the background right there, you can see a tripod yep. behind Alex. That is a reference to uh, Joey C's masterpiece, if I may say so, Fino Alamorte. Dude, I slammed myself into that bookcase behind when I you flew. Did. Yo, and then we have that prop leg. It looks so good. <laughs> it looks so good. That was the first thing we bought for the movie. Yes. Yeah, that, that prop oh, foot. We went to that one store. We bought yeah. that. We bought this ghost we never wound up using. Do you remember that? Oh, the yeah, hanging? that ghost. Yeah, yeah we, we you just saw it. We used a computer graphic. And there's Trevin, uh, Ralph Langerman, being the hero. And I think this is so fucking funny because... He's shooting a fucking ghost. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, just... <laughs> Yo, and you guys are crying yeah. in the corner. Little Easter... Well, not Easter egg, a little tidbit. When it shows the back of Ralph shooting the ghost, that's actually me. I was, I was oh, his, yeah, that's right. I was Trevin standing for you. Yeah, that. I forgot. That was you. That wasn't even Trevin. Yet another... Yeah, because we also did that in Buddy Cop. There's a scene in Buddy Cop where I was uh, Taco's legs. I was Taco's stunt legs. Yeah, and you were uh, Martin's afro. Yes. Yeah. Yep. I was... Yeah, his afro double in that. This is so good. I love how it zoomed in at the beginning. That's such yes. like a cool documentary feel. Yeah. This scene was so hard to film. Dude, how many takes would you use dude, roughly? I'd say at least 15 because when Esteban pops up... It is the fucking goddamn funniest thing yeah. ever, dude. We have so many takes of that where Alex and I just burst out. It, dude, all of it's us so just funny burst because, like, why the fuck would the priest yeah. be the stand-in? It yeah. should be Trevin. That wasn't that actually. That was a really kind of late, like, last-minute decision. We we knew it was going to be someone that was going to fill in for yeah. for Richard. But we didn't really know until the very last day of filming, or to film that scene, who it would be. Yeah. And we just picked, like, the most unexpected person. Yeah, and it, it was Father Fernando. Yeah. And it's so funny because the idea of him recreating the TV show intro, I, I'm pretty sure that we had, when we come up with the TV show intro idea, we were, we, we were pretty on the same boat as far as, like, we're going to reenact it with whoever it is. Yeah. Yo, and that's my mom's cross, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, dude, I'm, wait a second. I'm so proud of these credits because we originally just had, like, boring ass. Oh, just like a scrolling Scrolling credit. ones. Yeah. And you did, we took the photos for these, and you fucking made them look so good. I don't know how you, you got it so clear <laughs> when, you, when it zooms in that far. That's like fucking, like, 8K shit, dude. Yes. That's Indeed. so sick. This is, yeah, so we took these pictures actually the same day that we filmed me as uh, Ralph Standen, right? Oh, yeah, we that's that right. First. Yeah, yeah, that was the last thing we shot, Literally right? the last thing we filmed yeah. for this movie was the stand, yeah, I mean, doing, yeah, shooting the, the ghost yeah, from yeah. behind. And then we took these pictures. This one is sick because I love how that book is open. Because yeah. that, I think that's like a Bible on I my think dad's so. desk. I yeah. kept trying to see if I could like Photoshop it to say, I will fuck you on it. Oh, I dude. wanted to. <laughs> Angie the cat. Angie the cat was the cat that was in the movie, which is my my little sister's cat. Dude, I, I didn't I recommend we change the license plate? You did, yes. Because you, yes. you wanted to blur it. And I was like, dude, let's put something on the back. Yes. And either I didn't. Oh, oh. That's great. That's fucking good stuff. 
the golf that's swing, great. dude. <laughs> <laughs> that that uh, that's good stuff. We were filming the the shot of the house, and like I was just saying, that's good, that's good. Yep. We got yeah, it on the you last day. It was so funny. Yes. Anyways, we're staring at a black screen here. Uh, let's bring it to full screen. All right, here we are. Uh, thank you everybody for watching this movie. We really had a blast making it. We're definitely gonna do more things together in the future. This was our That's second fun. film, yeah. and we had a lot of fun with it. Thank you to Alex, Trevin, and Esteban, and everybody else who was uh, involved in the movie. Thank you. You put a lot of work in. Joe, do you have any uh, final words for the people at home? Uh, thank you for watching this. If you're still here, we love you, and we appreciate your support. Thank you so much, everybody. We're out of here. All right, let's go get bagels. Let's do it. Oh, bagels? Give me that cream cheese, baby!